Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome to my first ever vlog. Not gonna lie, this feels like really awkward and I'm trying to be in like the most low-key position right now. So that's why I'm filming in my car right here in an empty parking lot. This past July, I got my very first job ever as a test engineer at Torch Technologies. Super grateful for it. Much better first job than I could ever, ever wish for. And it's been great. Like amazing coworkers, my bosses are super helpful, nice and pretty relaxed. So that's great. And um, even though it is a fully in office job, uh, there's, there's a good amount of flexibility to it. So I guess just to kind of tell you how that all works out. So I have to work 40 hours per week, um, but how I arrange those hours is totally up to me. So technically I could come into the office at 12 a.m., leave at 8 a.m. Uh, not only that, but any, any hour we work outside of our normal 40 hours, that goes towards our comp time. So we can bank up to 40 hours, which is one full week of time, which uh, will be really useful for when I want to play these futures tournaments. So there's probably more entertaining things to do than watch me talk on a screen in my car, but uh, thought I should introduce you guys to my channel. So uh, something a lot of people have asked me is, what is it that got you to want to pursue tennis again? So I guess just to give you guys some more background, I've basically been playing tennis my whole life. Um, first picked up a racket when I was like six, I'd go out, play with my dad. Um, played my first tournament when I was, I think, eight or nine. Um, In our 10, 11 year old division, representing the central region, Vince Redke, Madison, Alabama. And then played all the way throughout my junior career, playing USTA and stuff. Uh, achieved an ultimate ranking of 37 in the nation um, on tennis recruiting. And yeah, had, had a lot of good success in my junior career. Um, from that, I was able to earn a full ride to best college in the universe, Gonzaga University. I uh, played there for four years, got one additional year due to COVID, and then went and played for Alabama. So, after my last year at Alabama, pretty much took like a year and a half off of tennis. Um, I was still teaching some tennis, feeding balls, and I was playing with my girlfriend as much as possible, uh, but completely away from competitive tennis. After doing a lot of thought, I basically said like, Hey man, I'm still young. Once I'm like older, I'm not gonna be able to like compete at a high tennis level. So while I'm in my 20s, I might as well go for it. Like I didn't train my whole life just to stop now. Why not at least try the pro tour? So this is what I'm doing now. I'm gonna give it my full shot so I have no regrets in the future. If I don't make it, who cares? But it's, it's gonna be a great experience and I'm really looking forward to it. Really the biggest thing that triggered me, that told me like, hey, I really want to go, want, want to try this pro tour thing out. So I was watching US Open this year. I saw so many familiar names that I saw in like throughout my junior career. You got like Francis Tiafo, Taylor Fritz, uh, Jensen Brooksby, that one was a huge one. I uh, <laughs> tried to uh, copy his backhand and stuff. Um, that was big. And then uh, that Brandon Holt versus Taylor Fritz match. Oh my gosh. Watching that just, that, I don't know what about it, but it just, it just really made me want to play again. So yeah. Um, so basically what I'm trying to do with this channel is I want to, all right, all right, let me, let me back up. So I want to use the hours I have to become the best tennis player I can possibly be. And I thought that while I do this prog like this process, it'd be nice to record the progress as I as I move forward. Um, because if I do achieve this, this would be a pretty incredible thing to uh, to uh, to document or record. So yeah, I'm pumped up. I've never had an ATP point in my life. 
my last year at Alabama, I didn't even play on the lineup. So what kind of a crazy story would that be? This guy's 24 years old, and then out of nowhere, boom, you see him on screen playing US Open. Speaking of US Open, let me tell you my two major goals. So number one goal, play US Open. I really want to play US Open. I've wanted to play it ever since I was young. Um, I remember seeing that on TV. I was watching like Federer uh, back then. I was like five years old calling him Feather. It was like Feather versus Needle, Nadal. Um, so yeah, that's my number one goal. I want to play US Open. Second goal, top 100. That'd be pretty crazy. So yeah, those are my two main goals. So um, I've already created a schedule for 2023, um, a weekly schedule. I've listed out uh, all the tournaments that I want to play. Um, a lot of them aren't posted yet. So basically just through May is what I have right now. Um, I've, I've come up with kind of a budget I want to spend on this, on this journey. And then uh, lastly... And lastly, I've listed a lot of like intrinsic goals, things that are going to transform me from the player I am now to a top 100 player. So I'm over here living in Huntsville, Alabama. I'm gonna use all the resources I have available and I'm going to leverage it the best that I can. So uh, yeah, so I'm gonna cover my schedule, training, yada yada, and uh, the upcoming videos. Whoever is watching this, I encourage you guys to like and subscribe if you want to follow my life outside the cubicle. So, it's a new year. New year, new me, you know. Uh, I'm sure you guys have some goals too. Let's uh, chase our goals together and create a community of success. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you guys. One more thing I forgot to say. So how is this channel going to look in the future? Um, so I think I want to post a video at least once a week. Um, it might be a bi-weekly thing. We'll see. Um, it's probably just going to be like a piece from training like uh, each week. Um, I also want to just post like a, a daily short, uh, mainly just to keep myself accountable. And also so you guys can just see a small glimpse of what I'm doing every day to go towards my goal. But uh, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye-bye.